What is happening, m 0 Nation? Jason here, day 11 of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge, joined once again by Matt. Matt is the pilot flying right now. I'm just gonna serve as Matt's instructor, and I wanna share with you what I believe is the proper way to teach spatial disorientation. I'm gonna share with you how um, how we typically do it. I'm gonna share with you what I believe is the right way to do it. So Matt just knocked out some clearing turns. Mooney, seven, Matt, you feeling good about everything? Zero. Yep, all set. All right, uh, I'm gonna take the flight controls, Matt. So I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. All right, I've got them. If you wanna get your foggles on, Matt, real okay. quick. Very, very stylish. Let Matt continue to make his video debuts, rocking rock foggles. You gotta always look cool. So, you know, we, we strive for excellence around here. So Matt's gonna get his foggles ready and I'm gonna share with you what I would call the old school way of spatial disorientation, which is the instructor. I think this is really just instructors like whipping the airplane around is what it really comes down to. So. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just kind of whip the airplane around and I'm gonna tell Matt to recover. But I'd argue it's not very realistic, but let me just show it to you for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna try to induce some, uh, some spatial disorientation here. Matt, if you would go ahead and when I say now, put your left ear to your left shoulder, ready, now. So we're trying to mess with all the fluid and the eustachian tube of the inner ears. We're trying to get that to kind of fly around and then stabilize as well. Matt, when I say now, I want you to put your right ear to your right shoulder ready now. Yeehaw. We just did a full barrel roll, Matt. No issues. We were positive G's the whole time. All right, we'll keep this coming around. Now, Matt, without losing your headset, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to ask you to take the back of your head to the back of the seat. And then after that, I'm going to ask you to recover. So without losing your headset, do it very slowly. Take the back of your head to your back of the seat now. And Matt, go ahead and recover. Your flight controls. Yeehaw! So that is what I call the old school way of doing spatial disorientation. The instructor just whips the airplane around because they don't get to fly much and they just abuse their students. That's how I think it really happens, Matt. I don't know how, if that's how, how, how we did it back in your private pilot days. I'd like to think I did the right way, but I don't remember, it was so long ago. I wanna show you what I think is the right way. So Matt, you still have the flight controls. Okay. What I want you to do, Matt, is continue to fly the airplane and close your eyes and put your chin to your chest. Okay. You see, m Nation, this is what really happens. You're, there's no one sitting next to you putting you into spatial disorientation. You put yourself into spatial disorientation. So Matt, with your eyes closed, your chin to your chest, give me what you think is a climbing left-hand turn. So we're just gonna fly this, and we're gonna fly around here. Now Matt, I said a climbing left-hand turn. You could do that. Okay, there we go, good. Now Matt, give me what you think is a climbing right-hand turn now. This is my favorite thing to do. You're doing great, though. You're doing, you're doing really, really great. All right. Easy on the climb. <laughs> right hand turn for I fall out. And whenever you're ready, Matt, go ahead and recover. Power back. Good. Uh, we were about to do a barrel. I wanted to go a little further, but you were really committed to making that right hand turn. And I felt like I was nursing it. <laughs> I, I was, we were about to go upside down, it seemed like. Wow. All right, you got four, and that's what I mean. You felt like you had a baby turn in there, and I'm here going, this is a little, cut, cut the video, it's a little much, right? So that's how I believe we should practice spatial disorientation, because you induce yourself in the spatial disorientation. So Matt, I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. You can take the cool, I have the flight controls. You can take the cool guy foggles off. I don't want you to say bye to everybody with foggles still on. That's no fun. Um, so, m Nation, what are your thoughts? How have you practiced spatial disorientation in the past? That's what we want to know, and how are you going to do it in the future? Instructors, I would recommend, you can, so you can show your students both ways, but I would recommend it's more realistic to demonstrate to your students to let them induce themselves into spatial disorientation. I hope you are loving the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. I hope you've already pre-ordered a copy of Aviation Mastery, the new book. Hope you've checked out our, our new learning management system, our new courses on m0a.com as well. Thank you for making m0a one of the best. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you.